New at 5, we're hearing from the family of a landlord in Brooklyn whose body was found smoldering in a garbage bin over the weekend. The grisly murder has raised a lot of questions and has the family making an emotional plea for justice. Iowa News reporter Tim Fleischer, live in Brooklyn tonight with more. Tim. And Diana, that murder victim left his office here on Rutledge Street and started walking home steps away. That's when he was kidnapped. But tonight, because there are no suspects under arrest, the family is offering a sizable reward. Children do not have a father. A wife does not have a husband. Why? What did he do? Pleading for information, a tip, or even a clue, Jewish leaders in the family of Menachem Max Stark offered an incentive with a sizable reward. We increased for $25,000 the reward. In this surveillance video released by police, Stark can be seen in a violent struggle to free himself from two men attempting to abduct him as he left his office on Rutledge Street during the blizzard Thursday night. Two days later, at this Great Neck Long Island gas station, Stark's burned body was discovered in a dumpster. Shattered, broken into pieces, and uh, we're trying to get our lives together and move on. Any idea Life will never be the same without Menachem. Eyewitness News has learned from police sources that investigators are looking into whether the financial and business dealings of the slain landlord who owned rental properties had something to do with his murder. Denouncing published reports of troubles involving financial dealings, family members describe Stark as a good and generous man. This is business. You can't please 100% of the people 100% of the time. Thousands of mourners turned out Saturday night for Stark's funeral in Brooklyn. Family members and friends say he was married and leaves behind eight children. Good things happen from good people, and the worst things happen from the worst people. God will punish them, no matter what. This murder investigation now conducted by both Nassau County and New York City. Again, the family is offering a $25,000 reward. Reporting live in Williamsburg, Tim Fleischer, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.